Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S2 Root.com for this week's uh, GTI 9100, the International and also in, uh, AT&T Galaxy S2 SGHI 777. Um, check out the latest version of my UI ROM and uh, kind of like this. Um, it is uh, also, this is the latest version 5, uh, they call it V5, uh, my UI. I haven't really gone over this ROM in a long time, uh, but it has... Uh, certainly improved uh, a ton since last time we looked at it. It is still running Android 4.1.2. Uh, the GTI 9100 comes with the uh, SIA kernel. And for the AT&T version, I uh, modify the zip files um, so you'll get the buttons working. Um, and I did install the latest Jibu kernel. So if you install the AT&T version, you'll automatically get uh, Jibu kernel. Um, no need to flash um, kernel or anything like that. Just download the appropriate version and it should be all good to go. Um, looking pretty good and also make sure you flash uh, G apps to get Play Store. Uh, one of the things with my UE ROMs in general, root is disabled by default and people think there's no root. Go to system, go to permissions, go to manage permission and turn this on and then you'll have full root. This is basically like super SU for regular TouchWiz uh, USB ROMs. Also, you get S tweaks uh, ROM, and that's the super user request window uh, for my UI ROM. Um, for the AT&T version, I'm not sure if it comes with it. Um, yeah, it probably doesn't come with the S tweaks. But you can go ahead and download um, apps like uh, Trickster Mod to um, overclock your CPU and GPU. And you will be able to overclock your CPU to 1.6 gigahertz if you want. I rec recommend no more than 1.4 gigahertz for best battery life. And also GPU, you can sort of overclock here with different steps here. Um, you can go all the way to 520. Uh, if you're playing games or something, you might want to um, change those values. But um, when you do overclock it, you're going to lose some battery life. And of course, the latest version uh, is better than ever, and you can get, of course, the, the coolest thing about my UI, my UI ROMs is that you can get a bunch of free themes, and some of it is in um, Chinese, which is the only problem. Um, but uh, you should be able to browse through. Um, this is in English. The main page is in English. Once you download, um, you'll have to actually sign up for a Xiaomi uh, account and once you sign up you'll be able to download all the free uh, free themes there's a ton of them by category um, by simple cute fresh art um, cartoonish and I've just downloaded uh, several just to show you maybe show you this one this one's kind of cartoonish and uh, this may be a good great way to uh, theme out your girlfriend's uh, phone because there's a lot of cute themes that girls would love so this that's a kind of a cute theme and also uh, changing the theme also changes your whole lock screen which is the coolest part about uh, my UI ROMs and even uh, Steve Kondik the founder of Sandwich and Mod even said that um, he is envy envious of my UI ROMs because of the theming and that's what Sandwich and Mod is working on now uh, better theming engine uh, better themes um, as you can see, I can just switch themes on the go. I mean, there's hundreds of themes now. I mean, there's probably like 100 times more themes you can get on my UI ROM versus Cyanogen mod. Um, so definitely, this is for themers, for those of you who want to try a bunch of different themes. And um, there are some of its own shortcuts. You'll find out if you use it enough. Um, there's like a shortcut. If you hold down the home button in the lock screen, you get a flashlight. Uh, and there's also a bunch of other great shortcuts and also some interesting system uh, apps here, Backup, MyCloud, and also the File Explorer actually turns into FTP server, which is kind of interesting also. Um, let me see, if I go to music here, um, there is a way. And uh, yeah, it, it is awesome ROM. And also if, one thing I forgot to point out, is that not only can you uh, apply the themes here, you can also get just parts uh, of something. So let's go to DJ Max here. And I forget how to do this. Well, there is a way to apply a bunch of themes, uh, the lock screen from it. 
I'm not sure if this one actually supports it. For some reason, it's not letting me do it. Um, but you can do it. Uh, I just forgot how to do it. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Uh, My UI ROM and nice toggles here. You'll definitely experience a refreshing uh, UI over TouchWiz versus uh, AOSP. Uh, My UI just has their own world, and this is one of the ROMs. Um, definitely, you know, there's uh, Xiaomi phones out, out now. Um, if you want to get Xiaomi phones in the US, you really can. You can order it on Amazon. Or if you have a Galaxy S2, you can go ahead and install My UI ROMs, which practically turns your phone into a My UI phone, Xiaomi phone. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. And yeah, do let me know what you think, uh, both for the GTI 9100 and the AT&T Galaxy S2. And if you've never tried it, you have to try this. This is one of those ROMs you have to try. Um, you know, because it's part of Android, um, you know, if you want to learn more. So definitely try it out for this week's ROM of the week. And if you have a Galaxy S2, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxyS2.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the week, tips, hacks, and more. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.